Hi everyone, in this video we will solve this problem. 2 power x plus 4 power x equals to 72. How should we solve this problem? Firstly, we know that 4 equals to 2 power 2. And let's put it here. 2 power x plus 2 power 2 power x equals to 72. A power x brackets power y equals to a power x times y for this formula 2 power 2 brackets power x equals to 2 power 2 x and let's put it here 2 power x plus 2 power 2 x equals to 72 then if we think that 2 power x equals to y then 2 power 2x equals to y squared. And let's put it here. y squared plus y equals to 72. And if we move 72 other side of our equation, y squared plus y minus 72 equals to 0. This is just quadratic equation and we may solve it y1 and 2 equals 2 minus b minus 1 plus minus the square root of b squared 1 minus 4 times ac 4 negative 72 times 1 over 2a2 this is equal to negative 1 plus minus square root of 200 and 89 over 2 and this is equal to 17 1 minus 1 plus minus 17 over 2 and we have two solution at the here minus 1 minus 17 over 2 and minus 1 plus 17 over 2 this is equal to negative 9 and 8 this is our first solution and we our y equal to 2 power x 2 power x equals to negative 9 and 2 power x equals to 8 this is uh, more easy than another one that's why firstly we may find it 2 power x equals to 2 power 3 the bases are same that's why the exponent should be equal and x equals to 3 from here. This is our first solution. And 2 power x equals to negative 9. We know that this problem has no solution in the set of real numbers. But in the complex numbers, we may solve this problem. 2 power x equals to negative 9. And x equals to log from 2 base negative 9. And we know that log from a base b equals to ln b over ln a for this formula we may write it as so x equals to ln negative 9 over ln 2 this is true we may calculate ln 2 that's why we should find ln negative 9 here this is equal to ln negative 9 equals to ln negative 1 times 9. This is true. And we have one formula, ln a times b equals to ln a plus ln b. For this formula, this is equal to ln negative 1 plus ln 9. This is true. And we know ln 9, that's why we should find ln negative 1. And here, may find it ln negative 1 if we think that this is equal to y e power y equals to negative 1 and we know that e power i x equals to cosine x plus i sine x and if we compare these two equation y equals to i x and Negative 1 equals to cosine x plus i sine x. 
and you can see that the left side of our equation has no uh, imaginary part. That's why i sine x should be equal to 0 and cosine x should be equal to negative 1. If cosine x equals to negative 1, x equals to pi plus 2 pi n. And n belongs to integers. And we should find y because we should find ln negative 1. And uh, we can see that y equals to i x. If we find y, y equals to i times pi plus 2 pi n. And n belongs to integers. And we may write it as so y equals to i times pi times 1 plus 2n and n belongs to integers. We find ln1 and let's put it here. This is equal to ln9 plus pi times i times 1 plus 2, 2n. And let's put it here x equals to ln negative 9 over ln 2 and this is equal to ln 9 plus pi times i times 1 plus 2n over ln 2. This is our final answer. If, and n belongs to integers of course, if n equals to 0, this is the main uh, answer of our equation, our answer, uh, x equals to ln 9 plus pi times i over ln 2. This is our, the main answer of our question. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my channel and thumbs up my video.